question 14. Now I thought this was fairly tricky actually, it's particularly part A. So uh, in 2015 patients waited 11% less th time than in 2014. So let's set up uh, a 2014 column, a 2015 column and a change column. And we're told in 2015 they waited 11% less. So as always, set up your 100 in the original column. So that bit in blue is really your starting point. We wait 11% less, so that's 11 of 100, so we're taking away 11. So if we had 100 in 2014, 11% less would mean we had 89 in 2015. So what is our multiplier left to right? It is m m multiplying by 0.89. Equally, going right to left, we divide by 0.89. Now, we're told the average waiting time in 2015 was 68 minutes. So that slots into this column. We want the value here. So 68 divided by 0.89 gives us 76.4 dot, 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 which is 76 to the nearest minute. Now, part B, work out the percentage decrease from 68 minutes to 60. This is a bit more straightforward, really. I think you just need to um, learn that um, to work out a percentage increase or decrease, you look at the change, so that's 8, divided by the original, which is 68, multiplied by 100 to turn it into percentage. So 8 divided by 68 times 100, which is 11.764%, or 11.8 to one decimal place. It didn't state your degree of accuracy, so it's up to you. I've gone for one decimal place.